All right, welcome to the Shot Podcast. Special guest tonight is Paris Deville. Yes, it's not Devil, no, right? It's Deville. It's Deville. It's Deville. <laughs> so we just got done uh, shooting two outfits in studio, right? right. And this is going to be this is number three. This is number three. Looks Already. beautiful. So you did your own makeup, mm -hmm. right? I did. Yes. Did your hair? Yes. Did everything? Brought all the wardrobe, styling, and everything else, right? right? Yes. So. Uh, <laughs> The first two looks were killer. Uh, did some uh, adventurous lighting on them, you know, a little bit. You've probably seen similar lighting before, but uh, first shot did some gels mm -hmm. with the gold sparkly. I like sparkly stuff. You oh, got yeah. more sparkly it's stuff. Glowing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, second shot did the um, the spotlight kind of look, right? Right. And we did uh, on the second look, and uh, we did like, the yeah. the window like blinds. A lace look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the window blinds too. So I'll pop little shots of those up. What'd you think? I really liked that. They were amazing. Like, just even without edits, they just look so clean and crisp and quality. Oh, good. That's what I like to hear. It's the best shoot ever, right? For sure, definitely. Okay. She's, you're the first one that said Top that. Top of the line, right? But everyone else has been like, "What was your best shoot?" They're like, "Ah, oh, let me think." Yeah, <laughs> not here. Not, yeah, no. not this one. Right? <laughs> no, this one's great. Right? Okay. I always just tell, just lie to me. Just, just tell right, me this right. was the best. <laughs> The best ever okay so tell me about how, how is it was a little um when you're shooting with new photographers i guess is my question um like we'd never met before right so you mm -hmm. came in it's a little like awkward at first we kind of get to know each other a little kind of warm up to each other a little bit break the ice a little bit but right right so what's that um i feel like as a model it's kind of like your job to like or not your job but like i mean if this is something you want to do for a living you're gonna have to get used to working with different people all the time so right it's definitely something you just have to be comfortable with yeah getting to know other people and getting to getting used to being around different personalities yeah yeah so, so we it didn't take long to warm up once you start <laughs> seeing the shots and you're like oh crap these are pretty good right, right? yeah yeah I, I then think it's that's like it, okay yeah. after you yeah. see what you look like you're like okay i know how to act now. yeah yeah so and anyway so i had a good time with that shoot so tell me um i, I listened to a little bit of uh your music today mm -hmm. and i liked it a lot Thank you. Um, it's not like it's the first time I listened to it, so I'm not going to act like, oh, I listen to your right. record no, all the time. Sure. Um, I checked it out today because I knew we were going to be working together. And I wanted to be able to at least uh, provide some some comments on it. So this came out in 2023? Yes. I just dropped it on Friday the 13th this month. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah, okay. Did. So it's like hot off the press. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so sure. it's brand new. <laughs> it is. Now, the last one you put out was back in 21, mm -hmm, right? Right. Was that your first? Yes, that was album? my first um, yeah, album. I would say I would guess I'm like more like a mixtape. This one's more like an album because I feel like I put yeah. more time into it. So. Yeah, and it's got the album feel. Like how many songs right. are on it? It's ten. Ten songs. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I like that. Mm -hmm. That's like old school. It's like a whole album, right? Yeah, for sure. And I feel like there's a theme to it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I was listening to a lot of the lyrics. So, um, are you writing? All the rhymes, all the yes, words? I write everything myself. Okay. All right. So how long does that usually take you? Um, I guess it just depends. Sometimes like, I'll be driving in my car and lyrics will just come to me and I have to pull over and write them down. Or like, I'll listen to a beat and write to the beat. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't, it's just always different, honestly, how songs come to me. Um, That's I think, what I was wondering. Yeah, since it's my art, I feel like it just, yeah, it's really spontaneous when it, when it happens. Yeah. I was going to say, do you, do you work with a producer? Um, so yeah, I have a guy, um, I forget, I think it's Switzerland or I don't know. He's overseas and mm -hmm. he sends me beats. So that's okay. what I've been working with consistently. His name's Pedro Beats, um, Piero. So. Okay. Yeah. And he's doing a good job too. Oh, for sure. Um, I, I listen to a lot of that now I'm musically inclined myself. So mm -hmm. I'm always listening to, you know, what's going on in the background, right, you know, exactly. with the music and everything <laughs> else. So, um, so are you writing any of the music, any of the, like, the melodies in the background, anything like that? Or is it all, is When it comes to the beat, together? he more just, like, sends me the beats. And I'll, okay. like, go through them and see if I have lyrics that I want to go with them or if if the beat sparks lyrics for me. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Cool. So uh, the first song that kind of hit me pretty hard was Gave Me. Mm -hmm. um, I think that song probably... Um, you're singing, you're singing, period, yeah, right? Sure. There's no other songs really that you're singing <laughs> yeah. on, right? That's the only mm -hmm. one. There's another one where maybe you're singing a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's like a low tone singing. Yeah, that one's, yeah. That one's definitely just like me fully singing. 
So what do you think about that? Like, do you, have you sung? Is that the only song that you've sung on? That's the only song that I've sung on like that. Like, just fully, um, I guess, trying my singing abilities. Because, yeah, for a long time, I guess I doubted myself in my singing abilities. And now I'm just getting more comfortable with my voice as I get older. And I'm starting to like it more. So I'm, like, wanting to try more things with it. And, like, what else can I do? Put some harmonies on it. Right. Yeah, exactly. that's what I was waiting for, some of the harmonies on there. Mm-hmm. So next time, let's get some harmonies going Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Some probably have there. some more pop yeah. stuff going. I liked time. it. It sounded good. That's probably my um, favorite song for sure on there and, and for more than just the reason i like the the, the melody to it and you're singing mm-hmm. um i also like the the lyrical you know the content there it's heavy on that one uh, right, mom gave sure. me a house dad gave me nothing yeah um is that are you writing about yourself or are you writing about someone yeah else? it is it's pretty personal for me that's like i guess like the first time i've gone i guess well this album is a whole um there's the first time i've gone like it. pretty personal with yeah. everything i'm writing like i feel like this is the first album i'm just like talking about myself and my life and letting my fans know like who i am as a person versus just like oh what i can do with music so, right so yeah definitely um definitely was a close to home type of track and yeah i it's, think it's, that it's one kind of weird like because i know that's like one of my best songs right now and when people tell me like oh i love that song it's like ah, feel it dancing to my pain but it's like i'm dancing to my pain too yeah so it's okay <laughs> yeah okay yeah i think that one could probably if you listen to the words it probably hits home for a lot of people right um very relatable it, definitely. you know it hit home for me too because mm-hmm. um basically i didn't have a dad till i was 10 you know and right. someone stepped up and stepped in and you know, so, exactly. but still, it, it it's it's a thing that stays with you forever. You oh, know, yeah. in a lot of ways, yeah. um, you feel abandoned. You know, yeah, I don't think parents and, know yeah. um, the extent of like the impressions that they make on their children. Oh, yeah. you know, as growing up or you know going through their own things, like you still have to look out for your children and make sure that they mm. know that you're interested in things they have going on instead of just right. saying, "Oh, I have all this going on. I can't pay attention to you." Like, right. For sure. So there's an, an overall, I keep saying there's an overall theme, but um, mm-hmm. what I'm getting from this is there's, you know, um, you're basically like, um, sounds like, are you cynical? It sounds like you've been yeah. let down a lot and yeah, you're basically, sure. you're telling the world, you know what, I can't trust any of y'all. Yeah, I feel Nobody like I'm, else, I'm like I'm the black sheep myself. of my family. Yeah. I'm always, I'm the standout. I'm the one that's like breaking the barriers. It's like, I'm going to be a rapper. I don't care what you guys say. So Yeah. So yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I think the theme is definitely like my villain story. It's like where I started being a villain, I guess, but I'm not a villain, but I am kind of. Like we said, don't the don't ask me where I'm at because I don't like to lie. I don't lie. I don't like to lie. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> so don't ask me. <laughs> I laugh when I heard that line. That, that was sure. a good one. What's your favorite track? I think my favorite track definitely is "Gave Me." After that would be "No Motion." Uh, that's like the second song on there, and it's just like I gave a lot of energy on that song. It's real right, upbeat. right. Yeah, I felt like I was really in my rapper bag with that one. But yeah. Yeah. gave me definitely i love that it's like i listened to a lot of pop growing up so it definitely i feel like ties in that pop and r&b that i just hit like i said hits home for me just real close to what i've what i listen to every day so right right okay very good so where did you record this album was it in san antonio or yes i recorded it um with a friend dino De Niro, and he's what's the studio bandits and he's off calabra it's a really nice studio. Everybody goes there. He just had like Mexican OT in there. I don't know, you probably don't know who that is, but mm. it's like another pretty big rack birth from like Houston and stuff. He always yeah. has like a lot of local talent in there too. So yeah, mm. yeah, it sounds really good. The sound of the whole album. Is, oh yeah, he does his is thing for match. sure. Yeah, it's really good. So where where do you get the the title of the album from? De, de villain? Is that a noun or a verb? Um, I don't know. I ever think of a noun or, or like a, active, like right? the villain so would be like I think yeah it's a noun. like the villain it's like descriptive it's like the a villain descriptive okay. or or are we like we're the villain like, like no a verb. Yeah, no we're like describing me like I'm the villain <laughs> like, that's the villain okay because it's like the villain the uh-huh. villain and what's I guess it's just like a play on the word uh, honestly well, I was gonna <laughs> I was say there's like, a play yeah. on words with the six 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 and For the sure. devil yeah. right and yeah, one of the exactly. songs because people I mean like you, you almost did it but every time they meet me like Paris and Devil I'm like no it's Deville no I heard but you so, so since they already yeah go for that I'm like yeah I'm no, I think it's it. on your Instagram. Mm-hmm. I think in your yeah, it says it, is this Deville? It's like D E dot V I O. I think oh, somewhere oh, in my bio it says Deville, not Double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people mistake me so much. Like I get on TikTok, like, Paris Double. I'm like, like why would somebody call themselves that? I don't even think that sounds good. Like Deville just sounds good. Paris mm-hmm. Double sounds crazy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Deville's got a ring to it. Right, it's got a ring to it. All right, so 
The other one that I liked on this album was Something Ain't Right. Mm-hmm. I mentioned that earlier when we were talking about it. It's just very melancholy, and the music is for sure. That's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. It's another, on, per, another personal track, another one just like yeah, yeah. making the sad song. <laughs> yeah. Let's change gears a little bit. Um, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Um, I if you could pick one. I would probably be invisible. And, and that's what I would be. Because... Yeah. <laughs> Or, no, I'd like to hear people's thoughts. Uh, I had that on the, the last podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> read people's minds yeah. so you know what they're right. what they're thinking. And yeah, not but not all the time, though. Like, I want to be able to control it. I don't wanna, yeah, that's scary. I don't want like, to just know, hear everybody's thoughts. Yeah, that could be a little bit too much. <laughs> right, exactly. Right. I want to choose, like, oh, let me let me hear what's going on over there. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, invi- I chose invisibility because I want to be Maybe flying, uh, too. Like a, I, I flying fly. was on the last one too. Flying yeah. sounds fun. Flying and and reading reading your mind. Mm-hmm. I guess those are like common answers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Invisibility would, is a good one though. That that would be my my pick because then you right. could be in a room like a fly on a wall. Oh yeah, right? nobody would never. Know. But you wouldn't know what they were thinking. You would just know Go what they're keep saying. Keep on the president or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if I'd want to do that. <laughs> it would just be them napping. Right. Is what it would be. So. Very boring. All right. So what's um, how are you promoting? The album, the album it just came out. You have shows coming up. Yes, I have a show at Gardopia Gardens on Friday. Oh, wait, on Sunday. I have a show in Houston on Saturday. I have a show in San Antonio on Halloween. Uh, yeah, so three shows coming up. All right. I can, if you look on my page, there's the flyers for them for sure. Um, you can find them there because I'm, I'm always posting my flyers. But yeah, I've been pretty booked. Um, as of recently, and I think I have one in Austin coming up, but I don't think it's till next month. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. So been you're trying to be booked and busy, and yeah, promote the album as much as I can. But hopefully, I can get some music videos out in the next two or three months, so people can have some visuals to go with the lyrics. And there's some videos out there now, mm-hmm, right? definitely. Um, for some of the just from the, the previous songs, stuff, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So when are you thinking about working on a video? Is that happening yet? Yeah, oh yeah, it's already in the works. So coming soon. Which song? Can you tell um, us? Or no, can't you can't, can't tell? You. All right, all right. It's a so we, we don't know really which one the the <laughs> single is yet. Yeah, no, not yet. Um, but I'm pretty sure it might be "Protect or Gave Me." Okay, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. And then it's going to be something completely different. For sure. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Any last words? Um, stream the villain. Stream it. It's out on. <laughs> I listen to it on Spotify. It's out on Amazon. Oh, yeah, it's, everywhere. it's out on you know, um, YouTube, Apple, Apple Music, yeah, Instagram, everywhere. wherever you need it. <laughs> so we're getting ready to do one final look. We're going to move all this stuff out of the way, and we're going to shoot against this curtain. Um, I think it's going to be a different look than what you're wearing now. Yeah, I right? think we're actually going to change. Okay. Yeah. All right. So mm-hmm. that should be good. Um, I'll throw a picture up. By the time you see this, we'll, we'll have done the, the right. shoot. Right. So last look for the night. Thank you, Paris, for coming on. Uh, I'm Gregory Kay for The Shot. And thanks for watching. We're out.